What is up, guys? So today, Samson released a new update for QuickShare. So this has been out on my Galaxy S24 Plus ever since I got it. But basically what this is, it allows you to share, like, the you know, use QuickShare for other Android devices and not just Galaxy phones. So as you can see, um, by integrating Google's nearby share, QuickShare supports um, connect sharing with nearby third-party Android devices. So it also increased uh, increased upload limit per file when creating QR codes by using or and using share to contact. So three gigabytes to five gigabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and update all these. So let's just take a quick note that this is what Quick Share looks like now before the update. So just take a quick screenshot of that. So let's go ahead and I'll just do this just for the sake of the uh, of the cover screen, or the, the thumbnail for the video, just so you guys uh, can get a good picture of that. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this to install, or let this install. So I'll be back in a few seconds. Actually, before I get into the main part of the video... Okay, this is me realizing that I never mentioned that the device that I'm using is S23 Ultra, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I also got this update on my Galaxy Z Flip 5. I'm just checking it now. So it must be on most Galaxy devices and not just the S23. So just keep in mind that if you do have the Z Flip 5 or really any other Galaxy device, it's definitely worth checking to see if this app needs an update. Okay, and now it is updated. So just, yep, as you can see, now we have that. Okay, so it just updated. And as you can see, there is that new redesigned icon. So let's take a screenshot of that. Just to show you guys what it looked like before. So this is what the old version looked like. And this is what it looks like now. So definitely consider going and checking out to see whether or not your phone needs an update. Or to see whether or not the app needs an update. You're just going to go into the Galaxy Store. And then go into the menu. And then hit Updates. And it will be there if it needs an update. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more tech content. And I'll catch you in my next one. I'll see you then.